us guests on this show to discuss the policy and the fact that this big queue is now out of the way. We have Ajay Srivastava joining us from Dimensions Corporate Finance Services. Ajay, thanks a lot for being with us this morning. Good morning. This, the big queue is out of the way. The RBI, you know, staying pretty much absolutely put and status quo on what was expected. Uh, your first take on the policy now? I tell you, the first take on the policy is that the RBI governor, you know, uh, forget the policy statement. I think his body language is so reassuring that you think the world is absolutely perfect place for you to live in. And the only person who agrees with that policy is your co coordinator, Subhashri Ayer. Every time you ask her, how are you? She says, perfectly well, sir. <laughs> so I think two people in the world for whom the world is perfect. Subhashri Ayer and the RBI governor. Uh, having said that, I think no surprises. The policy <laughs> remains where it is. <laughs> So I, I think uh, yeah I don't know how you come up with this. <laughs> Maybe we can learn from them, Ajay. It's, it's sometimes it's good in life to be slightly optimistic, right? Maybe we can learn from the two people you named. <laughs> you see, Prashant, you see, you've seen me for the years. <laughs> I, I enjoy myself, right? But those are wonderful people. I think I love those kind of people who think the world is perfect. I think I love them. But I think uh, you know, in a we are in an election year at the end of the day for India. And uh, when he referred to Canada, when he referred to Australia, I think those people have got two problems. One is they have a full employment economy, which India doesn't have. So that's one problem, which RBI governor doesn't have. We have very high, high unemployment at this point of time. Wage pressures have settled down in the country compared to U.S. and other Australia, with the intense wage pressures in U.K., U.S., etc. So I think those economies are a little different. And India, of course, as we're in uh, the election year, he has to do what it takes for the public to feel good about what the life is, which means that keep the interest rate where they are, which means put enough liquidity, although the official stance is withdrawal, but I have never seen withdrawal in this country. It's always surplus. Banks have surplus, people have surplus, NBFC has surplus. So I don't know what does withdrawal mean, but I don't think withdrawal makes sense. So it's going to be pro-growth, and I think we have seen today there will be more such step by the government, whether it's going to be oil price reduction, retail price, could be protection, some uh, duty coming in for imports on steel and stainless steel, which should help the Indian companies. So I think from now, you see the increase in the food grain prices. Now, if you increase food grain prices by 7 to 10%, search me how your inflation can be below 4%. It can't be. So I think at this point of time, RBI is for put money in the market, put back to growth. Inflation, I think, will be still kept on the back burner. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't happen, we'll try to lower the fuel prices. So good for the companies, but I'm not sure it's uh, as hunky-dory as we think it is because first cut numbers coming from April, May, June, I'm sorry, are not looking too good from the retailing companies at this point of time. So one segment of the country really is hurting is the retailing, the lower end. And very clearly, it will be, I think, the uh, most surprising growth slowdown when the numbers come for April, May, June. I don't think anybody is expecting it. But as first numbers roll in, I think it'll be one of the biggest slowdown we'll see in the first quarter at the lower end of the market and retailing companies. Okay, uh, you know, take some of those concerns on board. Ajay, okay, let's let's just dive straight in. You have a market where even at the index level now you're practically at all-time highs. Uh, some of these sectors like auto, for instance, have run up a lot. If you were to to make any fresh allocation right now at all, where would it go? Towards more holidays. That's the only okay. allocation I'll make is either I'll invest in guilt or I'll pay for my holidays. I would not invest in a share. I don't think it's, you know, at these levels to invest and make a serious return over a debt market, I think it's very difficult. You can be a genius, I'm sure. And number two is you all are invested. It's not that we have zero investment. It's not zero, 100, or zero and one binary game, either you invest in or We are invested in the market. But if you want to add additional money to this market, the answer is absolutely no at this point of time. Uh, we have put up more and more money into guild schemes and guild instruments at this point of time. And anything surplus, I promise you, you have the best return on capital employed is a happy holiday. Okay, let me, let me ask you the reason for that, Ajay. Okay, what's the primary reason for your sense of absolute caution? Uh, might I, might I, I add extreme caution right now? I don't see it to me getting 30% return from a fresh investment today in a three-year scenario on this index level. I can get that easily without any risk in my in my debt portfolio. Why would I, if I don't get more than 30, 40% next three years, I'll look at it, then why am I going to be putting in into my equity risk instrument? I'm already invested. I will get, if the market goes up, I'll get a benefit of that. But incremental money, I don't want to, I don't think I can make, I'm not a genius to make 30, 40% return in the next two to three years 
given the fact that economies are going to grow at 6.5% at best, RBI estimate is 6.5%, let's assume 7%. Economy growing at 7%, we can't do at 30%. The P's are inflated. Indian P's, you can say, yes, whatever it is worth, it is. We're talking of 70, 80s and P's in this market. Yeah, sure, it can still go up beyond 70 to 100 P. I have a retailing company, I saw P of 100. You know, bizarre, absolute pricing, bizarre pricing. We have seen many, you know, things happen in the world, but uh, I will not invest with P of 80s in a country of 7.5% growth rate. Mm. Uh, I think you're talk talking about trend, right? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, Ajay. Uh, good morning. Uh, good just morning. To, uh, uh, so, there are two things, right? One is 7%, uh, 7.5% uh, uh, growth. Uh, but the, lo the <coughs> longer, slightly structural logic, which is uh, which maybe, I think which is correct, actually, is that GDP may be growing at 7 but corporate profits share of GDP is also growing, uh, is, is growing at a faster pace. So that is one. And uh, the second point is uh, something why, uh, we, you know, we had Sajeev Prasad of Kotak in the morning. We had Rhythm of Morgan yesterday. Uh, and both, and we were talking about the domestic uh, bid for stocks, which was not there three or four years ago. Uh, this wall of money, right? 14, 15,000 uh, crores, $2 billion a month, uh, which is coming in through SIPs. Uh, so that keeps, uh, when, you men when you mentioned a piece of uh, 70, 80, do don't you think it can... I mean, you know, if this is a structural kind of uh, financialization, it can last many years. Uh, I'm not saying you, you, we will not have drawdowns, pullbacks, but uh, we are used to high P's, perhaps get used to higher P's now. What's your sense? Well, funnier things have happened in the world at the end of the day, Prashant, and I will not argue with the market, but I sincerely believe that I have never made and nobody can make money when markets are historic highs. The same flows were happening two years back when the market made a high, and then you saw what happened to the two-year returns for investors. So it's a, it's a question that they're good companies, but at what price are you buying them into? Is there a wobble on the growth? Is this, you know, so I'm just saying that odds, are risk return <sighs> matrix tells you that when you buy at these P's, you got to be extremely lucky to make a healthy return. And all these fancy institutions you just named, I was part of one of them long back. But at the end of the day, they look at what happened in the U.S. market. They were saying the same logic, and you saw the cuts 30-40% in NASDAQ, which is supposed to fly. And when they said, oh, NASDAQ is in the dumps, the AI boom came and took the market no, the other way. Yeah. To be sure, to be sure, uh, Rhythm yesterday was saying it is not good. He was his category. He's not, he's not, he's not a desirable outcome. No, because I mean, I'm not picking a uh, person uh, as a name. No, no, I'm just saying, and Sanjeev nobody... from Kotak this morning was saying, he said that according to his conversations with lots of people in the market, and he said this on air, he said, uh, he, I wonder if people who are putting this money, this $2 billion, they're looking at their IRRs. Uh, they're looking at returns that they're making. Or this is just go kind of going in. And, you know, they, they see the coppers growing, but that's their own money which is going in every month. And hence the uh, uh, pool is growing. But has anyone actually looked at returns? I don't know. I don't have the answers. But it's financialization is a real thing. That's all I was saying. Go on. No, no. I tell you the answer is, Prashant, he's right in a way that this is a huge segment of market which doesn't look at IRR, doesn't look at returns. For them, it is parking the money away from their consumption basket, from the bank account. It's a housewife who say, park this money for the future coppers. Maybe 10 years down the line, it money will double. Okay, the return could have been 7%, 8%, but that's put separately out of their consumption basket. So different people come to the till different priorities. Indian retail people, this is the saving mechanism that they follow. And some of the other... They have got in the head that, you know, equity is the only way out. Although I can tell you that PF returns give you the best return on capital employed, 8.2% tax-free return, year-on-year year compounded with zero risk at this point of time, right? So they're right. People do not look at returns. People are pretty, pretty passive investors. SIP is going, let it keep going. I don't think they look at market every morning to say it's high or low. That is so true. But if you have got an active investor, if you want to be sensible about it, you need to break yourself up to say, Listen, when do you actually make a return? You don't make a return when market is euphoric like what it is today. You make your return when there is time to buy good quality stocks at good quality prices. Entry price dictates what you make. And I'm just saying, you can get lucky at price of 80 and keep on going and hold the share for next 10 years and maybe double the price or something like that kind. You can be lucky. But is it something an active strategy guy should follow? I'm not too sure. And that's why I said, why would I invest in the, if interest rates are going to go down, Prashant, guilt is going to give me a better return on capital gain as well, apart from regular return in the next two years. 
compared to any equity instrument I can think of at an index of 18,900. There can be exceptions. Like let's say airline stock which we hold. There could be definite exceptions to that process that airlines could double or treble much faster than the others in India. But those exceptions need to be bought into as a general theme of the market to get a return, very difficult. Mm, okay, uh, <clears throat> got that. Uh, uh, Ajay, we'll leave it there. We've been told that we're out of time, Thank you. but I uh, would have loved to chat more. So I will have you back soon again. Thanks very much for joining no, no, us. I still believe uh, the world that. is fine. Don't worry, Prashant. I still believe the world is good. <laughs> so we have three people now, perhaps, uh, in, in that camp, right? I have joined I have joined Subhashri Ayers and RBI governors. And camp. the RBI governor. Fantastic. You have converted <laughs> you. over the 10 minute conversation. I hope Thank you. I, I hope Subhashri is listening in. <laughs> no, we will let it up. Thanks very much, Thank Ajay. You. Thank, you. Thank you. Well, uh, we're up uh, 40 points, 18,000. 767.